What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into Queen Naja. She is speaking on, well, she's interviewing Carmen. And Carmen speaks about her situation with her baby father slash ex-husband. Oh, well, I guess they still married, girl. Who knows? Day situation. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Naja, and we are back with another episode of Let's Talk About It. We got my co-host, Dami VVV, and we also got the beautiful Carmen, y'all. Let's clap hey. it up for Carmen. Hey. Hey. Make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to have her on here because I just, like, I just feel like we relate so much and we can really have a good, comfortable and cozy talk on the couch with our shoes off and just chop it up, have girl talk. Um... And yeah, I think I asked you to do this like maybe less than a month ago. So yeah, I was I just, excited. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh, I, I honestly was. I was wondering. I was like, do she think I'm trying to like pry or like I just no. Yeah, never. You know, I was like encouraging you like even in text. So this is not fake, y'all. Right. This is yeah. We was even chopping it up before the cameras was on, and she was encouraging Dami, and Dami was sitting <laughs> up here crying and stuff. So we already had a good talk, but. We, we're sure that you guys want to see it as well. Mm -hmm. So I guess I just want to, like, um, really start off with just, like, you know, how you feel. How do you feel right now, honestly? <laughs> um, I feel I feel good. I would say, you know, still going through whatever I'm going through. But I feel good. I'm in a good, like, m like space of mind. Like, my mind is getting, like, numb, just drain you mentally, like mm -hmm. crazy and emotionally. But, like, once you set your mind to just, like, you gotta be prepared that anything gonna happen at any time. Mm -hmm. The reaction's not gonna be the ones you want all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have to just mentally prepare yourself that you're gonna be good at the end of the day. You know? You're gonna be okay. It's yes. right at the end of the tunnel. Everything's tunnel. gonna be good. Yeah. So like I guess for the people that that watches like my page but don't really like know your situation or watch yours, like when you say problems, like what do you like mean? Like what's going on? Oh, uh, well right now the main situation, you know, going through the breakup. Mm -hmm. You know, after seven years of being together and I would have never expected it was gonna be like this. I feel like every time when you, with oh. your partner, you think about, okay, what? what if we break up? How would it be? Mm -hmm. You know, and you yeah. think the most cool, friendly way, like we're gonna be friends, co-parenting stuff, but like the turn that my breakup did, it was just like completely unexpected, crazy, right? unexpected, yeah. unthinkable. You mm -hmm. know, so. Uh, I'm definitely have been dealing with that. Like mm -hmm. every day, you get on social media, people commenting about your it's life. Public, yeah. yeah. That's what I hate. The I most. know that too well, and that's how I relate to you because everybody knows that I had a public, you know, such a breakup or whatever, um, way back. Me then. too, and, like, girl. A lot of times when I would just like look at you in that same situation, I would just, I would always root the best for you for whatever you know you want, what makes you happy, whether whether that's being there or not. But now I, I will always just want you to just start blossoming into like, you know, how you are now. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I'm just like, so I guess let's, I don't want to like talk too much about that situation. I want to talk about Carmen and like, what's, how are you trying to move forward? And like, you know, what's your, you know, <laughs> what are you doing to, what, what are you um, to me? I feel like I'm trying to just not really accept that it's becoming my life. Mm -hmm. Like this is mine now. Like this, mm -hmm. I own this. So like I don't have to worry about what this person is gonna say, how this person is gonna feel. Right. Like if I want to try it, go for it. Like if I want to spread my wings, spread them. Like you Very. never know how high you can really fly. Hello. So like yeah, talk it has about it. Like, she all mature and stuff now. I like that. A major turn to just even learning who I am as a woman. Yeah. You know, because I feel like I dedicated so many years to a person that now it's like we different. I did forgot like what Carmen likes to do, what mm -hmm. I like to just do in my free time. Like, and really yeah. yeah, right? And then yeah. like now, like on my mm -hmm. moments, I think I'm like, I like to write. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I really you finding out new things about yourself. Yeah, it's like, I like to write. I want to just go bowling at like any time of the day if I have mm -hmm. to. Like I want to do new things that like just bring me peace and mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about Oh, I can be seen this way. I can be seen that way. Or yes. You know I mean? So it's definitely like a new, new area for me that I'm just <clears throat> still learning to like move forward every time. Yes, I remember the other day, like yesterday, um, I came down here and she and she like I had I was in her car and I'm like I don't even know what to do for myself. <laughs> so I know what you're saying. Like no, you she, just, she she trying to say I wasn't here yet basically, and she she flew in a day before by accident because I told her the wrong day. And she came to my house and she just, I was like, just take the car or whatever. And she was just like, 
I don't. She was like, I don't know what to do by myself. Like, I don't. I'm like. I'm so glad that they talking about that. So a lot of people are asking me, why do I have an office to myself? And why me and Honey Sauce not together all day now? And Let me tell y'all something. In a relationship, you should always have individuality. And a lot of men don't be wanting y'all to do that, unfortunately, if you date that man. I am the total opposite. I recently bought Honey Sauce a car. Um, we did not put it on the internet because y'all ain't got to worry about what the hell I be doing and spending my money on. But I bought her a car and uh, got this office. And I'm like, baby, I want you to like do you. You know what I'm saying? Like during the day, just do you. And during the day, I'm just going to do me. And what does that consist of? Well, for me, I got to wake up in the morning. I want to go get me a ginger shot. Okay. A ginger with lime, not lemon. Okay. It's a difference. Lime give you energy. That's why y'all don't be seeing me winded. Um, take my ass to the gym. When we used to go to the gym together, I stayed at the gym for two hours simply because I want to get in the jacuzzi. I want to get in the sauna. I work out for an hour and a half. I got to play basketball in the beginning. I'm going to be there for two hours. She don't like being at the gym for two hours. She get her 30 minutes to an hour and she outside. So that was a thing. Like, I'm not trying to hold you back from, you know, leaving or whatever. She got to go get the kids sometimes. They got to, you know, maybe they stand up to school. Maybe they need to get picked up. Maybe they got a dress code change. Maybe they, um, you know, they period. Something going on with their period. That would stop me from doing everything that I need to do. Granted, I would love to go pick up the kids, but we have roles in this relationship. I handle the money and make sure everybody good to do what they doing. Honey Sauce go handle them children and the food and the house and shit like that. Housewife, period. I'm a hundred percenter. You know what I'm saying? On me taking care of my woman. I always been that way. I always will be that way. So with that being said, um, I wanted her to have her own independence. Don't depend on me for no car. Don't depend on me for nothing. Do you? So now she's getting she's getting into herself with that. And the only way you could really like blossom within yourself is being with yourself. Believe it or not. Sometimes you just got to be in your own energy. You know what I'm saying? Not cuz she's pulling away from my energy, not cuz she's not cuz she's a problem at all. I like to have my own energy. I like to bask in it. I like to think to myself I get the most done when I'm alone. When I have zero interruptions, I get the most done. And you either going to respect it or you're not. You know what I'm saying? With me. So she respects it and she does the same. So with that being said, y'all know we're the same sign. It was a win-win as far as I'm concerned. So I just wanted to put that out there. Alone, but what do I do? Like, should I go to the movies? And it's like she really just don't. Yeah, I was know like, how I to see a baby. <laughs> she don't know how to move see along. A movie by myself. Yeah, but yeah. It's a, that's yeah. Like. But I feel like we all go through that though, just different stages for mm -hmm, sure. Because mm -hmm. I feel like every woman that's been in a relationship for so long, and when you think think about it, you be like, damn, I've been dedicated like almost half of my life to this person. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you depend on that person for almost everything. Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So like when you do step into this new area where you're just by yourself. You can't call the person no more. Right. You know, like you can't call to say my tire flat. Like mm -hmm. who gonna, I gotta do that. I gotta fix that now. You know. But isn't it like empowering though that you could? Yes. It made me feel like not like in a cocky way, but it does make me feel like powerful. Like I got my own power. Like Good. you know, like mm -hmm. it makes me feel so like, girl, you got this. You got it. You got like it. I always bring up the story of Queen asking Chris for Tupperware. I never forget it because it pissed me off. For those that don't know, I was reacting to Queen in them first, you know, before I started reacting to anything else. So um, I've been reacting to Queen for a very long time. And when she asked Chris for some Tupperware and he wouldn't get it, oh, the heat that came over me because Tupperware? No, baby, not right now. No, baby, not right now. Tupperware? I just ask her how much. Baby, I need to get how much. Baby, I'm about to get how much. Baby, can you how much? 
don't have to ask you what you need Tupperware for. If she's asking for Tupperware, nigga, she need the Tupperware. What are we talking about? Child, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. And at that time, he was making damn near $100,000 a month. Tupperware, nigga. Tupperware. <sighs> anyway. A sense of like independence, mm-hmm. like yeah, and it definitely does feel good. And when Queen started getting her own money, I was like, "Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> like, God is great." You know what I'm saying? It gives you more like motivation to keep moving forward. Carmen you too. Know, like I have the power. That to nigga took her. Ch- the channel that Carmen was using, he took it and gave it to the other Carmen lookalike. One, two, you took her channel in general, so you stopped her from making her money, which means he wanted her to depend on him. And most men do. Like, and he mad she asking his friends and shit for money. What you want me to do? Girl, them niggas is a trip, bro. It is what it is. They these, I have the power. They got their shit together way. now. Like, it make you want to just like, Okay, let's see what this chapter is going to bring me. Yeah. Like, I'm excited for it. Yeah, it's like Carmen is all for Carmen now. Yeah. Carmen and her kids. Period. Yes. And yes. I just I just think that that's, like, such an amazing, like, free feeling. It's like, I think a question, like, a lot of people have is, like, how do you finally reach that point to, like, where you're, where you want to be like, you know what, I think I want to blossom on my own now. Um... I don't think I When a nigga steal all your joy Take all the money you got Take your channel And think he control you Every move They Niggas don't even realize They push him away Cause when they talking To other independent women Seeing other independent women Yeah they wanna become that Stupid ass nigga. Necessarily <laughs> like Put my finger at that time But I knew that I was Going into that area When I start seeing like the small things in the relationship that were just not adding up, like bumping heads too much. Mm-hmm. We arguing over the most stupid things ever. Like mm-hmm. I don't see you how I used to see you. Like I get irritated now when you touch me because it's like, mm. Ugh, mm-hmm. like move, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like it has been so much anger built up through the whole relationship mm-hmm. that when you finally reach your point, it's like you really start paying attention to everything that you have been put up. And with. when it gets to that point, it's like, okay, what is like? There's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. wow, hold on, I've really been dealing with that. And then not only that, because I will say sometimes in certain instances, like in relationships, people can feel like that and then they could be back, you know, mm-hmm. okay if they take some therapy or something. But sometimes it becomes just like not good, not healthy for your like mental health. So would you say that like you started to have like a plummet in like your mental health like when it came to that? Oh, I definitely lost myself. Mm. I lost mm. myself in a way where <clears throat> I couldn't be lovey dovey no more. Like I'm such a lover girl. I love love. Girl, I'm a Libra. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I feel the same way. Yeah. Like I love 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 love, and I love to be soft for my person. Like I right. definitely love doing that. So when I started noticing that love wasn't my thing, and I started being irritated with love, mm-hmm. that's mm. when I realized, and I was like, "Cause love ain't enough." Okay, we the door is open up for me to like walk out. Do you really think that love isn't your thing, or do you? No, think it, it is just, my thing. At the just time. not at the time. Anymore. Not with him. Like mm-hmm. I feel like the type of love that I was looking for, or that I required during that time, it just wasn't. It yeah. wasn't giving it to me. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I feel like I he was, wasn't either giving yeah. it back either. Yeah. And I feel like I will always give my love. Like I feel like my love was never a question. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I always loved the same. I always gave my love the same. And the loyalty and all of that. All of yeah. that fight. All, all that. that, yes, and it came down to <laughs> she feeling it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she touched it. All that, yes, because, and then it came down to where like you really start paying attention, like that your partner is not giving it back the same way mm-hmm. that you're giving it to them. And you start They're to kind of like face reality, like wait, what am I like waiting on? Yes. Okay, like what am I doing? Like I'm, I'm wasting. Kind yes, of and years. I feel like in the relationship. It, it, okay, go ahead. Okay. That. When you do that like, and you feel like a rejection because it's like you giving all of you and then like you not receiving it back. So it's naturally happens. This person is rejecting you and it's like you give it, you give it, you give it. Yeah. So I feel like that's just like that rejection vibe mm-hmm. is just not a good feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you feel irritated because it's like I will support you with anything you do. Mm-hmm. That's what we're supposed to do. But when it came down to me, it's like, okay, I'm not really getting the support. Because niggas yeah, be hating. Like, you know what? And how could like, you 
Oh my bad. I'm See, not here we go again. That. Why, like, why, like you giving all of you. So it's like, as far as like men goes, I feel like they be hating. It's like the simplest forms of like you can't communicate. Mm. It's not like our love ain't worth you communicating, or it's like them four, four, four in the chat above yours, or you know that's what yeah. it's always. It's weird. called the love tank. That's what mm. I call it. Mm. And if your love tank is like on empty and like. If if that person's just like if you're just on empty, you don't have nothing to like pour back into the person. Mm-hmm. So it's like you just keep pouring out your love giving and pouring it, it out and pouring it out mm-hmm. and it's getting lower and lower and lower. And then next thing you know, you just low. You ain't got no more to give because that person didn't pour into you. Like yeah. y'all so so I feel like like maybe that's like what you say? Females don't always support a man's dreams. I completely agree. Um and I, I'm not so I'm speaking from from this. And I'm only speaking from this because it goes both ways. Um, but in this situation, he wasn't supporting her at all. Um, and I, he made a, um, I don't know. I feel like men are complex because, and this is why you need a computer. I don't know if you have one still. But what I mean is um, for us to talk because that's why I be wanting to talk to men because you, you could tell me, you know what I'm saying, how you feel. But all I know is from how they've been dating and shit that been on the internet. Like a metaphoric way to like, yeah. If people say, really, yeah. People don't really realize how we really lose because once she finds shit. out her worth, when, his worth no longer women, matters. Like we, we, you know that is another thing. So that's the I ain't even gonna say a downside, but you really gotta have a balance with that independence. You know what I'm saying? And that's I feel like that's the fear that men get with women. They they don't want them to have too much independence because then they can't cater to them no more. You just got to have balance. Like what she said with the love tank, like our, we give and give and give mm-hmm. until we don't even realize like it's gone. But all, all it really takes sometimes for us women, because that's all we wanted a little bit of like, mm-hmm. we'll keep going for miles and miles and miles mm-hmm. more if they just give a little bit. Bro, like, that's what I be saying. Man. I be like, bro, if you just give me like a kiss or like a, just a, a hug or something, love, like, like, it, it will keep I'm me gonna going. So good. <laughs> bro, like, I be so good. Like we just do one little yeah. thing. Like it will just like the smallest take thing me. And yeah, it's enough. just small things. And once you start like losing that, okay. but I just want to get, let's get, I'm, I'm let's, let's get to Carmen. <laughs> so like you know now that you are like in this last month phase and yeah you you're i gotta get a different not a different monitor <laughs> i have plenty of monitors don't worry I, i'll call you still going through the growing pains or whatever what is the bright My side of things like what crazy. are you looking forward to now like um like your goals and stuff like going big and stuff i do see myself like ex- be very creative i have the thing is a man can find an independent woman but if he makes her feel secure and safe, she would gladly let him lead. Doesn't mean her independence went away. She just doesn't have to move like that anymore. I have a character. Mm-hmm. I know how to act. Mm-hmm. I know how to make people like laugh. Mm-hmm. I'm very bold when it comes to great content. But now I feel like I'm in a space where like I'm way more bolder mm-hmm. to do it. Because it's mm-hmm. like, it's not that I don't care what people say, but it's like, that's what I want to do. So it's mm-hmm. like, I have like a curiosity to know, like, how will you look if you do this? Like, let's try it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I you see, know? I seen people say that. They say one thing about Carmen, she going to put on a production. Like, <laughs> it's okay. going to be she that. Will. It's yes. going to. Yeah, yeah. You just let your creative just like. Let it flow. Yeah, like, let it let, flow. And I follow. And I do have a great team. They do bring that out of me as mm-hmm. well, you know. I feel like what's important too is knowing that you have people that believe in you in a way that you don't even believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. Because at first I did doubt myself a wow. lot. Like, mm-hmm. how am I going to do this? Like, hold on. This is scary now because I really got to start from zero all the way up. Mm-hmm. So now it's like I just love the idea of knowing that, like, whatever door is open, let's go in and see what's, what's there for me. You know, right. like, I don't want to close any doors. And I don't want to just, you know, sit back and say, no, nah, I don't think that's for me. Mm-hmm. Now let's go try it and see. You yeah, because that's how you know if it, like, will fail or not you know mm-hmm. or basically yeah, like yeah. you just gotta yeah you just gotta try it to know if it's gonna like succeed basically yeah, yeah and i feel like a lot of people that's what they scare of is change mm. like yeah her they team is the one really get you like to the point where you <laughs> I gotta start lie, her team should have kept the michi and her going because if it ain't broke don't fix it but i digress self and then when you doubt yourself <clears throat> you don't really like fully like show the world who you really are because mm-hmm. you just so like in that bubble mm-hmm. but when you make them changes, you're going to really start seeing your life it's just in a whole different way that you probably couldn't even imagine, like, two years ago. Right. So I definitely... Because what you really got to lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you really, yeah. You really just got to go for it. 
because I feel like every day you get a new opportunity to just you know like live different mm -hmm. or just keep doing what you're doing facts but when you just step it I feel like us women we know when we step into that area where it's like it's my time to shine mm -hmm. so you gotta take and go for it it's really empowering yeah so like I seen that you had like the um the, the Carmen's boot camp happening. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> she got the Carmen's because I you used to do the Carmen's boot camp like yeah. with the was all it like all, was it yeah all the girls they used to do like crazy stuff and mm -hmm. stuff so now I see you like put a twist on it because you're single now and you get to <laughs> you know you get to like you know have a little fun or whatever so like tell us like how you even came up with that was it like the team or that was definitely the team uh, we came up with that because of the Carmen's boot camp mm -hmm. they wanted to remix and just put Carmen's boot. Camp. That's gonna be so oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I, but, that was uh you that I seen it on Instagram. It's like you was like I uh you were talking on the phone or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm excited mm -hmm. for that. But okay, to be honest with y'all, it's not that I'm looking for love. I know you're not. <laughs> yeah, I know that it's like, it's like you're just trying stuff. You're being yeah. creative. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like that's something that I'm gonna like just stamp that name, Carmen's Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna be doing content and probably you know put different people for them to find love with each other. Not so you're it. gonna be a matchmaker. You're gonna make yeah. it bigger. Yeah, yeah so but you gonna gotta be... start with you first. No, I mean no, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, wait, isn't the first like? If I was Carmen. I would not find love with a soul. Episode's gonna be I like. I mean, a... not right now, not at all. Because yeah, you're well, not. Well, the first episodes are really just like we did the casting call, mm -hmm. and like, but it's for you, right? Yeah, for me. but yeah, not for real. Think. But not for real, y'all. Yeah, just for the kind. But then okay. after that, you are gonna make it matchmaker. Yeah, like every okay. other episode that I do now. Y'all ever found a soft couch on Amazon? Now? Is it gonna? <laughs> if so, can you send me the link? Be just of course book edition, mm -hmm. but it's Baby, gonna I be need like me a couch to take a nap on. Girls and boys, mm -hmm. I'm just the host of it because I don't want to be in the house. That's seat. dope. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, we don't want you. Yeah, we want you in the hot seat. I've been in the house seat for plus, too long. Yeah, I feel right. like, and then still just. You don't need that right now. Yeah. You should just keep enjoying your life Having and like, yeah. yeah, like you just got started. Yeah, literally. But you know, okay, let me ask you, like, how do you know what to say or what to do for you not, like, for you to not fall into the hassle? Because I feel like sometimes, like, with my content and even with what I say, I don't think nothing to it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just like being raw, genuine, giving it to y'all straight up. Well, I guess I would ask. I got to do Amazon because. They let them deliver here without me getting a certain insurance for it. You then, what is the hot seat? Well, a hot seat is like let's say when you <laughs> when you just say something like they probably wasn't meant the way people took it, mm -hmm. but they took it that way. So now everybody just like tussling here's with you in the, the comments. Thing. Here's the thing, bro. Like this is what I honestly learned. Um, back when I was like just speaking very unfiltered. I got in trouble a lot. Like with social media, I got things reposted on Twitter, people's talking stuff about me and like this looks you know, soft. because I was just really saying what was on my mind. I was mm -hmm. authentic. And then I started to tuck into this shell, like forget it then. I'm not gonna say anything because they keep blaming Queen Naja for everything. Or like <laughs> they keep or they just keep like taking and twisting my words. Mm -hmm. But now I realize that doesn't work for me. Like you just gotta be uh, smart about, you know, make sure it doesn't like offend like a certain controversial kind of some things are just realistic though to say and you know honestly if people get offended you just gotta go back and like sorry I didn't mean to offend y'all but and then keep it going but like for me They're like just... people still say things about me that's not Jumbo true and mm -hmm. I've already apologized multiple times and it's like there's just got no way to yeah, like it's no way to when lie. you're in this this like limelight mm -hmm. yeah. there's no way to not be in the hot seat. There's yeah. no way. Like you can say the right things, the wrong things, but everybody's opinions. I are mean, there is a way so to different. just be fake and just be. No, because you can't yeah. appeal to you can't appeal to everybody because everybody is uniquely made and their thoughts mm -hmm. are different. So you're never gonna not. And half the time, people yeah. the things that the we comments. get in trouble for saying is stupid, right? It's not even it's getting stupid, in trouble. But everybody else probably be thinking it, but it's because we're public and you we know, said like, it, yeah. we get in trouble. It's just yeah, because so. people be be bored and they mm -hmm. gonna say if you can say the most perfect thing and they still gonna find something yeah. wrong with mm -hmm. it. So. Mm -hmm. You just gotta like yeah. you already know, yeah. and you know, yeah. Kyrie, just you know, just people just. And, but one thing about you that I like, I see and I love is that like you're not afraid to go back and be like, okay, I take accountability for this or what I say, and that's just yeah, really like that's that a too. genuine part about it, like mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to also go back to like the importance of um, having like people surrounding you that believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. Like mm -hmm. that was really good what you said. Like, especially when you're going through, like, a transition. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to, like, tell Dami, like, you know, 
having those people around will help like you you know what i'm saying like it mm-hmm. will having the, that supporting team or whatever yeah. like having your friends is everything like yeah and people who believe in you is everything so that's that, just i just even and people like yeah, i'm glad even, you i'm glad you have that because i feel like you gotta have it and i feel like maybe me talking to like or being more around queen now like i'm finding my village but it is good to have it i'm glad that mm-hmm. you do have it and i love the stuff you be putting out it's yeah <laughs> no thank you i feel like he, i feel like <clears throat> my manager i would say is like you don't know a millionaire without a team mm-hmm. like everyone has a team that yeah, you know can support you push you through and i feel like you know when the breakup first happened like i did had them mm-hmm. but it was still like in me they're like i don't want to hear it like yeah, I just tell me that because that sounds good. Like, that's yeah. easy, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, it sounds so like, you easy. You got to do this. You got to do that. Yeah, know? like, and when you're listening to it, it's like, you get irritated because at first, like, you don't know what I'm going through. You're not in my shoes. You're not feeling what but I'm feeling. But they do know what's going through because they've been through something. Like, they probably yeah. been through something similar. So that's what I had to learn, that it was like, okay, even though they're not on my shoes and they don't feel what I'm feeling, they can see what I don't see from the a best different perspective. Interest. Yes. Yeah. So, like, when... You know, they started telling me, like, girl, you finna have these stores open for you. Like, you don't understand. Ooh. Like, you being a star, like, you the prize, you this, you that. You're the prize. It's so hard the to prize. see it in the moment, though. No. It's like, like believing it. Kia, no. I feel like. I yeah. just had a taco, so I had to un- unzip it. I don't want to be <laughs> Okay, my bad. But, um, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm no, about to send y'all the couches I'm looking important. at right now. And I feel like, even though having friends, Fuck, too, is, lost is definitely, like, a escape you know like when you escape from your real thoughts you mm-hmm. get with your friends and they will put like different thoughts in your head like fresh thoughts yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and we need that a lot because nowadays yeah. a lot of people want to call yourself a friend okay what y'all think really about friend, yeah you know That's These. The truth. even the people that tell you the and to those that feel some type of way that i'm looking for a couch um while i'm watching this video take it up with whoever you need to take it up with uh podcasts are to be listened to i don't have to come on now Watch yourself. The ugly <laughs> truth that you don't want to hear. Because yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. them and the real friends, too. Yes. Not people just like, yes, men all around you. Like, I got oh, two yeah. of them that I, I, I like. I'm telling you I what you want to hear. I hate people like I'm that. I'm about to send y'all another them around and they just agree because that's what sounds good all the time. Now, I, not to get like too deep or whatever, I don't want to make it like super sad, but I know that I was watching your video of um your friend that was with okay, you in, I the, in the um, breaking room. The, the break, rage the, room. Yeah, the rage yeah, room. I've seen that And too. she seemed like she was very, like, just all for you, like, very supportive. I think she was there when you was, like, in your apartment, and you was, like, yeah. you was, like, ooh, you know, like, I just want to give my condolences for that, too. But, like, was that, like, do you feel like you have more you people like, the second like that still, like, left for you? Mm, no. I can count them in one hand. That, she was, like, literally, like, my other half. Mm-hmm. I felt like even before my breakup, like she started coming around, you know, at the right time, I would say, because mm-hmm. I'd been knowing her, but we wasn't that That's close. Mm-hmm. And it just happened. We just got close, like, I don't know, we're just for like going to clubs, inviting her to the pool party, stuff like that. Nothing to it. And eventually, yeah, like passed. one time, you know, you get drunk. We mm-hmm. start talking about everything we go through mm-hmm. and she opened up and I was like, oh, wow, I would have never think you mm-hmm. going through this yeah and we got so close and like she the one that really kept me on my feet because like every time she was pregnant mm-hmm. so like every time yes. I was with her she would make me eat because I would not eat. <laughs> like I would not oh, eat yeah. I was going through like you know all this emotion where you lose your appetite you start mm-hmm. losing weight oh trust me all no. that. Mm-hmm. so she will make sure like I eat every time around her and even like the days I wouldn't see her she would text me like so have you ate today? Do you mm. need me to over you something to eat? Like oh, that she, was a good that friend. Was a real, per, a real yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like, I I, not that. in a bad way, but I feel like, <laughs> you know, God. Know right. <laughs> not that, like, yeah, when that happened, I was so mad. I would say, like, I was mad with God, but I questioned it because it was like, why her? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is yeah. the person that has been here, like, helping me through all of these and she was like my comfort zone yeah like she knew how to keep me calm like when something was going on social media she wouldn't know how to like calm you down like, yes yeah. don't get on social media like she don't look away. yeah really yeah, yeah i'm yeah, over here thinking like she's saying she was i'm like i'm thinking it's still your friend oh um, yeah, yeah yeah she passed away last month on the fourth <gasps> yeah last month yes Oh my but god! But that's why I said my it's so amazing how she I'm got sorry. you. Are you good? But I just seen like when you were talking about friends and stuff and people that's being there. Much. I just seen that like when I man, bro, like I when I was watching your videos, 
like of you coming up out of that situation. I don't mean to keep going back to it, but you don't understand how I was on the other side just rooting for you so bad. I like, know you texted me. Like, I, oh, no. yeah. I was like, bro, I am so happy for you. Like, yeah. it's it makes it feel like it's like me, you know? Because, mm. like I said, I feel like... Y'all got a feeling to be, so let's get into this tea. I weird anything, but like... I'm just like, yes, like, you know, like, I just seen all the joy in your face when you was in your new place, and, like, you know, I was kind of living my, not my dream, my, I was kind of living through you a little your bit. Your little, like, your little girl? Yeah, um, because, okay, when you was in your new apartment, for example, now, I'm in a relationship, and I'm happy, I'm gonna just, like, say that, but um, please. I've always, when I left my last relationship, um, I always told myself I was gonna, like, you know, Getting up my own apartment and designing mm. how I want and do it and I and you know of course I chose you know love again which is fine <laughs> but you know I never got to do that so I got to see you like do it and I was kind of mm. just like really happy and joyous about you and I seen her there and I was like that's so sweet you know that you yeah. got you just you know you need those kind of friends and stuff yeah you okay I'm still <laughs> stuck on the friend honey size did not want me to get my own apartment because that's what I was gonna do. I was going to get an apartment. <laughs> it was like, how oh, the fuck you not? I'm like, okay. Somebody better find me an office ASAP. I got an office instead. <laughs> I'm glad I got an office, though. Man, I'm still over here like, dang, but it, it just, I think that's amazing to have had someone like that. Mm -hmm. And then it's like looking back, she got you through mm -hmm. to yeah. this and you made it over. Mm -hmm. And like, it's kind of like, it's, that's like angel vibes. Like, yeah. yeah. like she your angel? Yeah. Cause, mm -hmm. dang it. Yeah. I great. definitely look at it like God is molding me for whatever he has planned. He's molding me. He got like, you set up for something great. Grab yes, cause that I would not expect that I would like. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't believe it, you know? I was <laughs> like, not her. Like Y'all don't think I should get a white couch? Uh, just yeah. why, you know, mm. and just like just, just even thinking me. about like all the plans <laughs> made after she had the baby, mm -hmm. all the plans this and then I was I'm like, literally getting it to go to sleep yeah. when, when I need it. No, then she passed away January fourth. <sighs> oh yeah, she only had six weeks left. Yeah, I, I mean, now, she probably relate because she lost someone too. Um, yeah, I lost so. somebody recently, yeah. like well, like a few months ago. So, so what color? Like, what color? Yeah, that was like my first time coming like back around like Queen and stuff, and like we were doing her music video. And I was Black. just like, I'm so, Crying. like, right. I was just yeah. messed up. But I was trying to resume life. So I'm just like, wow. Like, yeah, no, man. I have my moments, like, at night time. <sighs> okay. Like, I be, like, I be, I call myself a few times from, like, texting her phone. Because, oh, like, I go through probably, it and I just want to text, like, I love you. I you know, you should still do thing. that. You should still do I that. I do, I do. I still send messages. Probably make the crazy feel, thing is, I, you crazy. know, I lost my security guard, um, Beast. He was with me from the beginning of my career. I lost him in, um. Um, March in 2022. Oh, damn. And I was like, the other day, I literally was just looking. They have I went green. back to his text messages like for no reason. I just wanted to text they him, but green. I kind of felt scared. Like, yeah. I was like, I don't, I mean, I don't know if I should do that because then it would bring all that stuff mm. back. But mm -hmm. like, I, no, I do it. You have to. I do like it. the only just way I, I coped. Oh, you wrote it. See, I, the way I coped I wrote with it, I wrote a song so. for her. Mm. Yeah. Because I felt like that was like, if I can't give her mm -hmm. anything, well, I did her makeup for her funeral. Mm. So it's oh, like oh closure for me and like, you know, my last thing I can give to this person that like the only way I can like give mm -hmm. her something yeah. like yeah. to show my love that and then the song. But like, I feel like I wouldn't been able to cope if I didn't do mm -hmm. something to like. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. when, when my boy Danny passed, a lot of y'all didn't get to meet Danny because he was uh, in Miami, you know, handling his business. That's crazy because we all recently lost somebody. But. Um, I'm just saying, we not friends, but I'm saying four people in a video. I'm watching them. Um, I didn't give a damn how much it costs or what it took. My ass was going to be in Miami at every single thing he had going on to be a part of what was going on. And I was. And I don't regret none of it. Um, I have some of his clothes. I have a uh, some of his shoes, uh, well, a pair of his shoes, and I have like a memorabilia in my house of him. Um, and I know he gonna kick me in the ass because I don't have his picture at this desk, but I'm gonna get it, Danny. Um, but rest in peace to my boy, man. Is that shit real when you lose somebody uh, and lose somebody so young, man? Ooh, child, that's a different feeling right there. But rest in peace to both day people. When you said the text, and I'm like, 
I think you should do it. It's did like talking to like Did y'all see the gray one? Stuff. Like that the I song. Said? I feel like that's I know a lot of green one is fire. That's the last thing mm-hmm. I can do for you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't know how to deal with it cuz it does feel empty. Mm-hmm. But I know mm-hmm. it like what You time, feel a little numb. I feel yeah. like you when I look at you, I just feel like you okay, just kind of numb you from green all pain. One. Like oh, so much. <laughs> she's so numb from like a lot of things and and I just remember feeling that way too, like just very numb and like it's kind of like a good thing, but it's, I mean, it's, a, it's bad a, thing. a bad thing too because like you want to feel, but you also don't want to like feel pain or whatever. Yeah, it's so, like you want to avoid it. Like you yeah. want to avoid that. Like you know how sometimes like your chest just feels so heavy. Oh, like, yes. you want to avoid it. Girl, <laughs> I hate that I'm feeling. I hate, so I, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Heart heart aching. Like you just gotta keep going. To be honest, but I will say it's a question like how you say you just the way you cope with it is just being like numb like do you feel like you've already gotten past it or you feel like it's going to come a time where you come back to I'm and I'm talking about all pain in general the the breakup mm-hmm. the transition the loss you know like do you feel like um being numb is only like you're just avoiding it and you'll come back to and like have a breakdown or something or? to be honest um I have been avoiding it lately because this is my first time being like without my kids since the breakup like they've been with me all the time so my mom decided to get them you know give me a break mm-hmm. and i keep telling my manager and like my friends i'm like i'm gonna crash out for like three four days like i need to like mm-hmm. i need to just deal with it just cry let it all out and know like okay now this is like your official <clears throat> move forward step mm-hmm. because since everything happened like i really haven't dealt with my feelings like i really haven't Mm-hmm. I haven't had a moment to myself. Because everything is just going so fast. So right? fast and it's so public that you feel obligated to keep moving. Like, mm-hmm. as yeah. everything going because you feel like, then you got these people over here looking at you mm-hmm. because they thinking this. But you got these people over here because they hearing deep from over there. So and then like, you also feel like, oh, I got these people looking up to me and it's my responsibility to bring them joy and happiness. Yes. But you got to deal with you first. Mm-hmm. Like, or you have to. Is it just the fact, too, like, you trying to create now that you're on your own, like, you got to move and work because you got to create that life mm-hmm. for yourself now since it's not just you and it's a you partnership do. anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. So you just like, I'm on the gas, I'm on stage. Yeah, like, my, my foot is just on the you gas. You're hustle like, mode. Yeah. yeah. Like, you ain't got time to, you know. Yeah, to just got sit around her, and got her, probably yeah. cry got her feelings it. in her back. Yeah, I be telling my manager, I'm like, listen, if you got to keep me here all day, keep me here all day. You got to gotta shoot 12 hours, let's shoot 12 hours. That's so crazy. A lot of people cope with pain like by working yeah i do i will work like hell and y'all like nah you need to take time off because i'm you know i'm not feeling it taking time off ain't gonna work for me when it's quiet it's really quiet no excuse me when it's quiet it's loud as hell so when some people decide that they want to continue working y'all need to encourage people to continue working believe it or not if a if a person has to work to cope with things, you need to find out what projects you could throw on their ass. So I'm gonna tell you right now, that's that's what helps me. Cause uh, I don't like I don't like the quiet. They just avoid it mm-hmm. and they just work. But eventually, you'll get to a point where it's like, okay, you gotta crash out. Like yeah. when I come home, like right now, when I go back home. Like I'm not going home to my kids. Like they the noise. So it's just in my you house. don't have no. Yeah, you gotta just deal with you. I, just, I have feelings. to. I can keep avoiding it, you know. And I feel like when my mom came, she said some words to me that stuck with me. Mm-hmm. So now in my head, I just keep in the back, like, okay, when well, you're not working, just deal with it. Like mm-hmm. nobody even gotta know what you're dealing with. You ain't gotta post about it. You ain't gotta cry about it. You know, right. just deal in a way where you know, like, this is how I need to do it. And, more, and you know what, Carmen, forward. don't deal with it by yourself. Talk to God. Yeah, no, I have been Yeah, cry out to him. On. Yeah, and I, I seen that you said you was getting closer to him. Like, we get closer to him in the times where we're, the like, at our lowest. Mm-hmm. And I know that sucks because I guess sometimes when people are just up, up, they're so happy that they forget about God and, like, how they brought them out. But, like, literally just when you there crashing out, don't do it alone. Just, like, you okay? I'm trying to get comfortable. Can I just, I'm just going to oh, grab go this ahead. blanket. Go <laughs> Just it's a blanket you know, behind me. Just, um, <laughs> my knee start hurting. Yeah, Yo, started falling asleep. It like fell asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, but cry out, cry out to God. Just don't do it by yourself, cause like, 
I might have to you get know, that green some, one, y'all. Play some worship music and just like, black. Really. It's nothing no, in black. I be working on like That's, how to talk to God. You know, yes. like I feel like it's a difference when you pray to God, but when you talk to God, it's different. But praying like that talking. relationship, having no. a real relationship. Okay, so like, wait a minute. Okay, it is. It, it, it can be that way, but the way I look at it uh-huh. is like when I pray, I specifically Hold focus on. on what That's I'm asking small. him to do oh, for me, what okay. I want, you know what right, I mean? Right, but right, But then when I talk to God, it's just me talking like I'm talking to a friend. Yeah, uh, that's right. exactly how know. it should be. Yeah. Like, God, today I feel, one, yeah. just, I just feel one. discouraged. God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what direction to go. Like, mm-hmm. I need you to send me a, like, I, but the crazy thing is we be asking for all these things and like, he be we, doing it. He be doing it. Yes. He be doing it. Like behind the behind the scenes, it's like, he's just working. And then next thing you know, you look up and like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. I really got out of that. Like, mm-hmm. I, okay. I know firsthand. Like, I used to cry about just where I was in life and not even just down to not having money to when um when CJ was a baby. Like, I used to be like, God, why am I here? But I just kept going and I kept saying, God, why, why, why? And next mm. thing you know, why? Now I'm here. So it's just like, you know, you just got to stay encouraged. And I know it's hard but and, and allow yourself to still feel. But I'm just saying, just, you know, when you go do it, make sure you – Make sure you give it all to him. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, got know, to. Yeah. I know she's being more encouraging right now, but I kind of want to go back into like <laughs> <laughs> the, the I, numbness I, because it's like, I f- like, do you feel like, this is my question, do you feel like you are thriving in it? Like you like it kind of in a sense, like being numb? Mm-hmm. Like you want to be? I don't want to be numb. But yeah. that's the best way that I know right now to keep moving and forward. It's helpful. It, it is definitely helpful because I feel like I'm not worried about Numb means you choosing your battles on what the hell you going to stress about. That's what I learned about being numb. Um, I, I choose my battles on what I'm going to give a fuck about. And a lot of times <coughs> I choose nothing. That's why, you know, a lot of y'all <laughs> think I give a fuck about certain shit that I, God, if y'all knew the amount of fucks I didn't have to give, <coughs> it'd probably scare some of y'all because I don't care. You can't give them out all the time. That's why I'm buying a jar of them and they're going to stay full. That's a registry joke. By uh, like feelings, like yeah. I'm not even worried about nobody's feelings. Like, I'm not even worried about mine. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like by being numb, it's so easy to just block whatever off. You know, like... Just even get it done. Whatever you gotta me, do. Like, I'm, business. I'm always, mm-hmm. like, in my feelings. Thank you, Ron. So that's why I'm asking that, because it's like, it, that's like something I have to teach myself to not be, mm-hmm. because that's naturally just, like, how I am. Bring your mic down a little bit. That's naturally just how I am. So I'm just, like, I was curious, because I'm, like... I feel I see like people thrive in their in their pain. I feel like yeah. you're the opposite. I feel like what? <laughs> no, I just feel like you are so much in your emotions that y- it stops you from j- getting things done. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like does the the numbness or that like help? Because I feel like like how people be like, I got out my I got in my I got out my feelings and got in the bag. Like mm-hmm. that's why I be like, damn, I'm always in my feelings. Like <laughs> it's just natural for me. Like somewhat. So I'm like. Trying to unlearn that, but what, how to get out your feelings? How to yeah, not how do you get out your feelings, Carmen? Yeah, teach us how to get out our feelings. <laughs> you teach know what? Me. I feel like lately I have been really <laughs> noticing with myself, and I have been coming like cold shoulders, mm-hmm. like I'm being cold toes. So like by me being like so just like I would say cold hearted, mm-hmm. but like becoming cold, it <clears> helps <throat> me like to be numb. Like I don't feel, I don't. I'm not gonna sit down and do well on my feelings, not because dwelling. I feel like I done that so and it so does nothing much. for you. So it how do you not dwell? Thing. Like, what do you do? What's your process? Like, you keep you keep your mind busy. Like, yeah. find mm. something that entertains you to do it. Like, if it mm. is to get on the phone with your friend forever, baby, I love doing reactions. Well, at this point, I'm doing blog style videos, but I love doing it all. Y'all, I could sit in this chair for two days. We could watch the sun go down and come up and go go down and come back up again. If my back didn't hurt from carrying all these, I would sit in this chair all day because I love my mind to stay busy. I love to be busy. Um, I I don't mind as the devil's playground. So when you sitting around not doing anything or listening to the right things and focusing on 
um, the BS, that's what you're going to get. You know, that's what your mind is going to receive. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> for how long? Mm -hmm. Do it. Because, like, all the time that you are spending <clears throat> with your friend, you're not thinking in the well and all your emotions, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah. we have so much time to ourselves to waste. That's all we want to do is the well and what happened. How you should have been. That's me. And then another thing is I'm sometimes dweller, you got to switch up the location. Mm -hmm. That too. Well, yeah. Sometimes you got to switch up the setting. Sometimes sitting in the same apartment is and looking at the same four walls is like. Depressing. Yes, depressing. depressing. Baby, I was getting depressed. Okay. When it came to sitting in my room every day, hearing the same thing, doing the same thing. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was about to lose it. So that was another reason why I got an office. And it only <laughs> reminds you of what you like are going through. Sometimes mm -hmm. you gotta just change the scenery As and like fact. not be afraid to like Facts. change the music you listen you to. Sneeze. <laughs> well, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, yeah. I kind of was like, what is a day f like now for you look like? Like, how do you go about your day? Like, what does a day for you look like when you? Trying what? to get out your feelings. Yeah, my days goes very productive. Like, I like when I have my schedule. Like, I either get my schedule Sunday nights or Mondays. So, like, when I get my schedule, like, let's say, oh, well, Tuesday, you got to feel flesh you. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Damn. Have mercy. That was a huge like, thing. Like, if I know I got to film at 11 o'clock, then I had to, like, set on my schedule. I get up at about 8 o'clock, get my kids up. Get them a little breakfast or whatever. Go drop them off. And by 12, I'm at the studio where I need to be. And then the time just go by when you're working. Mm -hmm. And time the day really is done. Goes. Yes, the day is done. And that's another thing, I guess, structure. Like having mm -hmm. a schedule. That's yes. something that I struggle. You guys need to be. <laughs> I almost had a third one, but it went away. <laughs> that is something that I struggle with so bad that I'm like, in 2024, schedule. I'm just now trying. You know I struggle with like just like too. having things to do. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I have stuff to do, but I don't have Organized. the structure. Yeah, yeah. organizing mm -hmm. it. And I... And I feel like it's a lot easier for you, though, because you are, like, by yourself. So, and you don't have someone True. to, And then, like, but you, you know, said the team, the team. No, the team as well. But still, like, <clears throat> if you got somebody at home, sometimes you, like, gotta got to kind of schedule around, around, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, so a structure probably would be. And be consistent. Yeah. These are all the things that I struggle with. Because <laughs> being consistent <laughs> is so easy to say, but it's so hard to do. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm so good at, like, planning things out, visioning things. Mm -hmm. But I do have a problem with, like, executing sometimes. Like, because it'd be those days where, like, you might do good for, like, the first few days. And then it's just that mm -hmm. day that comes, like, I don't feel like doing that today. But then yeah. You got to know yourself, how to get right back yeah. up, though. Forcing yourself It's to, okay to, like, fall sometimes, you know. You but you just got to. You yeah. gonna fall a lot of times, really. Yeah. You can really put no number or on how many times you're gonna fall. You just gotta get back up. Yeah. You just got to and you and gotta that's find something that works for that's you. A fact. Failing, I feel like that's part of the process too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Because you don't learn nothing if you don't fail. Yeah. Mm hmm So and what are like um what are some other like ventures that you, you see yourself um like wanting to do? I wanna act in a movie. Like I see myself being mm. in a movie, hosting a show. I can see you like, hosting a I show too. Oh, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. 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 when, awesome. when people look at me you like for some reason show. like I have like came across I don't know if well, people are like very spiritual. Mm -hmm. So like people will just come to me and then they are so spiritual and they mm -hmm. be like you know, I see you like spiritual a real is great. Like mm -hmm. I see you on Netflix, wow, like prophetic they, words. Yes, yeah, like they yeah. see all this stuff in me, and I feel like that's what sometimes helps me with just like owning this. Like mm -hmm. this is mine now. Like Carmen, you are becoming yourself. Like mm -hmm. you are becoming a woman of your own now. Like mm -hmm. you don't have no man to depend on. Like mm -hmm. it's just you and you your just boys walking into yeah. your like real purpose. Yes, yeah. yes, and it does get scary. Don't get me wrong. Now it does get scary. But it's I keep that telling myself that, like, everything that you do in life, you're going to have bumps. And you just have to hop the bumps mm -hmm. to see, like, what's after that. <clears throat> it's so many bumps that are going to come in life, yeah. man. I speaking lie. of, like, oh, my oh. bad. No, go ahead. We always do that. Um, speaking of, <laughs> we all, y'all, I'm sorry. We're going to always. The thoughts just <laughs> pop yeah. up. You know, you Speaking can't of, like, it. boys, like your babies, you know, I know they're probably your biggest motivation. But, like, mm -hmm. um, what is, like, the hardest part now about, I guess, <clears throat> being, you know, mm -hmm. a single mommy? Mm-hmm. I feel like the hardest, hardest thing is like maybe when see your ex for daddy. Mm, like, oh, wow. What to say? You know, you what know I, mean? I relate to you so much. <clears throat> uh, well, when CJ was younger, like when 
And we both got a son named CJ. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> um, when CJ was younger, like when I w- we was transitioning, when I was transitioning out of, you know, just like into a new relationship and everything, like everything was fine, but it was still so new to him. He went from seeing like me with one person, you know, to another. And uh, often I felt guilt, like mom guilt or bad, like I took him away from. But in reality, mm-hmm. I had to realize, no, I didn't. I took him away from just a, a toxic situation because he would have grown up mm-hmm. to see that and stuff. But it did get hard <coughs> for me sometimes. People like, I want to go. You no, know, I want to go. But like, I learned now, like, to just, you know, let, I guess I will never speak down on his dad mm-hmm. about, you know, to him. As CJ grow up, you know, he will like just have his own judgment or whatever. Right. But that is like, I could I could feel you on like that being because you feel like dang but he'll understand when he get older you know yeah and it, and it sucks Hopefully. because I feel like <clears throat> I'm not a beater person at mm-hmm. all like whatsoever but I feel like my behavior came of actions you know like mm-hmm. based on how certain situations is being treated mm-hmm. I, you react to it yeah mm-hmm. like yeah. I react to it and then like sometimes it's better to just keep my kids like and a distance, you know, where mm-hmm. it won't be no like, oh, your kids this, or you're using your kids for this or for that reason. Like, mm-hmm. I'd rather to just let, you know, God do it. We like gotta do them it thinking comes to like that. the dads, like thinking that, I hear a lot of guys say that, like, you turning my kids against mm-hmm. me or all that, like, mm-hmm. kind of stuff. So, yeah, no, like, I haven't, I don't, uh-huh. I haven't, and I won't do that with mm-hmm. CJ, but I just hate that when he grow up, he will be able to see this, like, was really oh yeah, that's the yeah, that's, that's the hardest part to, to, for me to think of too. Cause I got a kid now, and I didn't before, but I be thinking of that. Like, cause you say everybody think about it. I was like, it's just like you don't never want your kids to have to like. Even me think I'm like, but I don't I want mean, my kids to have. You to. You want to know something? I I hear a lot of stories about parents that you know they were unhappy with each other, and then their kids and did. they tried to hide it from their kids mm-hmm. for so long, and then eventually the kids grew up and like just was felt like they was living in a lie mm-hmm. so sometimes like as they get older you kind of just got to be true <clears throat> they're going to encounter life with some people i guess we are very honest with with our kids very almost brutally but we leo so you got to expect it <laughs> but yeah we got to tell them the truth so they won't have no surprises when they get older they're gonna be like you already told us what it was so i mean you know they take it as like if they see their mom go through something they'll be like some people be like, oh, I'm mad that she didn't leave, or I'm mad at... Like, they'll be mad at their parents for, like, staying or oh, leaving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's really, like, you yeah. just got to do what you do. You got to do what's like, best for you best. and your kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like that's why I haven't, like... I hate it that I responded, mm-hmm. because it was like, they, I did not want my kids to see that. But it's like... Somehow, so way, well, they see it or not, they're yeah. gonna hear about it. Right. They're gonna want to know like what happened. <laughs> my goal was right, I never sure. wanted my kids to grow up in a broken home. Mm-hmm. Never did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but nobody. obviously, God had a different plans for me. So mm-hmm. yeah. Now it's just like I'm not gonna buy. I'm not about to bring just different guys around my kids. Exactly. I'm right. not doing that, you know. So I feel like whenever I'm ready for to even make that move, mm-hmm. I feel like that's when my kids kind of like need to start understanding life in a different way. Yes. But right now they are kids. Like I don't want to kill their childhood. Right. With my trauma, with right. my problems. Yep. Like no, like yeah. But that's what, why I say what like as you, they get older. What mm-hmm. do you, what do you say? End up saying to your, to your baby that's asking right now for daddy when he asks like how do you handle that like yeah well, sometimes when he is it giving y'all her and b lou done broke up <laughs> that's what i'm getting that's not like they have broken up i could be absolutely wrong i'm just saying be like oh we're going to daddy house i look at her like no daddy daddy <laughs> it's like daddy. sis need gone. help but not, I don't say like in a way where like, <laughs> oh, your daddy just said, no, I just be like, no, daddy's she gone, okay, daddy. Y'all. Right now. Yeah, like, like for uh, daddy go work. Like, daddy gotta go mm-hmm, work yeah. and stuff. That's and I just keep it like that. Like, I don't just say it with a closure. Like, I let him, you know, think like, he's gonna His come imagination back. is yeah. like, oh, maybe he's at work or maybe he's, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, so far, everything has been so good where... I feel like CJ's smart. Kids are way more smarter than we think. Child, especially with all of these iPads and technology mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Because it's a lot of, I mean, I ask that just because, like, there might be somebody out there. And even, like, you know, I'm curious, like, how do you handle that? Because I'm sure there's people going through it. And, like, mm-hmm. what do I say to my, what do I say to my kid? Yeah. You know? yeah. At first it was, it used to be, like, oh, that'd be back. That'd be back. Like, the first four weeks. When, you know, when I was at home no more mm-hmm. and see it with ask, I was like, that'll be back. But then I started telling myself, like, 
No, because he's actually waiting for your for daddy to come back. Right. You, he don't want you. He don't, you don't he want him to like hanging on your start right. or yeah. trusting. I don't know how y'all can say daddy when y'all mad at them niggas. They just would not have a name. <laughs> Or, you know, him. <laughs> At a young age, like, to not, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just yeah. started telling him, I said, daddy working, okay? And he'd be like, okay. And they go and buy his business. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> but I'm sure sure eventually, daddy, okay? like, so right now, <laughs> is, is co-parenting happening right now? Or is it, like, just mm -hmm. not? That's, I don't know what's really going to happen okay. with that, like. Oh yeah, well we just gonna pray we for know, the best. That's situation. what I just said. That's that's what I all we can do is pray for the best situation possible. You know. Yeah, that's what I. Even yeah. my mom, when I have some conversations, with my mom, I tell her, mom, all I can do is just pray for it. Pray yeah. for him too, because he's still the father of my kids at the end of the day. Right. But other than that, it's like I'm just letting, I'm just letting it go. And pray for him. Is crazy. Felt like yes. if y'all was Fuck to do him. this, that it would be hard for that to be. Cause y'all didn't like have friendship, like yeah, your daddy, like, the daddy. Mm -hmm. Based on how some things been going, Him. I feel like he Bruh. probably will make it hard Cause. for me to just be co-parenting. <laughs> like, like cool, like like cool, like, like I just want to be cool. cool. Like if you have my kids, <laughs> I want to be able to call and check on them. Him, bruh, and cub will be. <laughs> What I would say. Like, I don't want to catch no without, attitudes without you feeling mm -hmm. like, why you got to call every time? Like, <laughs> you know, I want to be able to call every time right. to check on my kids. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I don't know. That's why I just be like, you know, whenever. And that will gonna, happen. That will happen in the beginning a lot. No, I'm saying it will happen. In, it happens a lot with like in the dads <laughs> where they like want to make a fuss about my like, kids. Like, like, yeah. They just want to like make an issue about. Every Anything. little thing you do. It's like, come on now. Like, Let me yeah. just talk to my son. Right. I just want to see he okay. Like, you, yeah. did he eat today? Yeah, that's, that's all it. I want to know. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely hard, though, when you have kids involved. Mm -hmm. It becomes a little harder, but God does everything for a reason. Right. Yes, he but does. Since we're on, like, the mommy subject, like, what what do you love most about being a mother? I just love <laughs> to see him grow up every day. Bro, that's they do the same thing I think. Because they do something different every mm, yeah, day, especially that. my youngest, the baby. Mm -hmm. Like, talking with That motherfucker right there? <laughs> it's like, that's a grown man in a baby body, literally. Right. So, that's like, like sometimes I just be staring at them like, Wow. It's amazing. I did that. Man, no, sometimes I be driving, I be like, wow, I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute, I got two sons. Yeah. Like, whoa. And then they happen, then one is nine, and then one is well about to be nine and one just turned five i'm like whoa life is but yeah the best thing i feel like about being a mom every time i look at cj uh well hell both of them baby cj i be like this nigga ain't 15 yet <laughs> and look i don't want to rush because the older he get the older we get but i be like damn cj how old is cj so he's about to be nine got it <laughs> I'm the same thing. You just literally CJ, watch you your still offspring. Nine? Oh, but, that's but again, it's kind of scary. <laughs> it's scary. Yes. It's scary yes. too because it's like it's like <laughs> we're actually raising men, like all three of us. Yes. Like we have to raise men, and it's like you want to make sure it's not just oh I have a baby. No, that baby's gonna grow up into a teenager and a man. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure that your child is like prepared you know, for uh, life. Uh, yeah, and also just yeah. another good civilian, like right. a good. Oh, oh, I don't shit. know if I should touch on it. Uh, Damn. Ooh, I could touch on that subject. Damn. Too, because it's like, okay. it's like we're actually raising men. Okay. Like, all the child is like, prepared you know, for uh, life. Uh, yeah, and also just <laughs> yeah. another good civilian, like right. a good person in yes. the world. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I could touch on that subject. Oh, I don't know if I should touch on it. Uh, uh. It's like <laughs> raising men, right? We mm -hmm. know that sometimes kids will take on traits of their like child i knew that was coming y'all i know c uh cj i know Corey about to be like bitch don't know how to raise no man if you got a pussy you can't raise a man if you if you a woman if you a bitch they love to call women bitches if you a bitch you can't raise no man I, child he gonna have a field day with this parents or their mm -hmm. father how how do you feel like now um if Ooh. say say if you were only you know Say if you only depended on yourself to raise your boys, because mm -hmm. I was told that only a man can raise a man. How how would you I stop agree. your how would you stop your boys like from having like maybe narcissistic narcissistic traits right, or right. like just or maybe taking on the negative taking traits all the negative of, traits of their yeah father. <laughs> 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 um, I haven't really thought about that DPA. I'm not going to lie. So mm -hmm. Like, I haven't really thought about it that day because I'm hoping 
that, you know, by that age, when it's that time, then the daddy got his shit together. Right. And he's going to step up as a man that mm -hmm. he needs to for yeah. his kids. Because, yes, they say only. I'm over here trying to step up and be a daddy, my kid. You ain't trying to let me see the kids, bitch. <laughs> I can hear him and see them glasses. Them Cartier glasses and them lips. I can hear it right now. These stupid bitches over here trying to say, like, you can't see a man. Uh -oh, uh, like, bitch, I'm trying to raise it right now. I'm trying to raise it right now. Y'all really stupid. Y'all really don't understand what we going on. He Baby, where he at? I can't wait for his response. The man can raise a man, but they say. That's a good conversation that for another time, like yeah. put in the comments Ryan. below. Do y'all think only a Come man in. can raise a man? Go on the corner. Because I know a lot of men, they are like great men. And they, and they I do think men should raise boys or raise men in general. I do. At their mom in life. Them. And they, they not, they not like on the other side or nothing. I believe like, that too. I believe that. Yeah, I've good seen men. it. And I just feel like sometimes they might, um, they could be great men, but it takes a lot of, you know, trial and error too. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the one thing that I am like very like hands on on is to teach my babies that like the world going to tell you no, mm, you know? Mm, mm, so mm, I don't mm. try to spoil them. Like even though they are such mommy boys, like. Oh, they just know how to look at me and just give With them what they eyes want. Like, oh, mommy, can I have a? Yes, mm -hmm. it's like it's hard to tell them no, but then I put myself in. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna tell you no because the world not gonna tell you yes all the time. Where did, did you get? Did you naturally have that in you, or did like did his father like <clears throat> no, instill that in you? Me. See, for me, me, I the kind of mom I've been, I am. I've always been just super lenient, lenient, and so with Clarence, like you know, being there. He's always and I know like it's common sense that you have to tell your kids no, but like he <laughs> just he like kind of enforces it more like look the real life is they're not always gonna yeah, be I'm, able to get what I, they want. I so think I'm totally period. Different. You think you think you more like raising Trusky? Mm -hmm. He's how he like and it's like by each kid is different, mm -hmm. but like my son's so rough already, so it's like I don't like try to like baby him or not that because I feel like like you said in an environment like. Mm -hmm. We like we might have like the YouTube thing going on all mm -hmm. that, but I still live in like where it's like it really get like that. So I'm mm -hmm. like I want to just I have to raise my son. I feel like in a rougher way mm -hmm. because I don't want him to get like bullied or mm -hmm. played. Like don't mm -hmm. don't play with my son. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like you said like that is like the daddy part, but it's like I recognize that too. Mm -hmm. But I well, yeah, like, I'm just not she that just like tough. so sweet and stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, I've never been that tough. So and because like, I didn't have a tough dad or like. And to be honest, my mom hasn't always been, I mean, she's tough for dealing with, you know, what she dealt with. But, like, my mom has always been very just, um, you know, lenient and a sweet mother because she didn't get that from her parents. Her parents mm. were very tough on her. So mm -hmm. she grew up and was oh. like, I'm not going to do my kids What's like up, y'all? So got a family feast, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Ray So, so Wavy, like, Pop the Lease. Now I'm trying to, I, you know, I can still take some of that stuff, but Excuse still, me. like, have a little bit more, like, um, uh, I What's the word? Uh, put your foot down a little bit more because, like, you know, it's these are boys. Boys, boys. Yeah. going to be. And, and I heard when they get a little, when they get a little older, they start smelling themselves and they want to, you know, <laughs> do their own thing. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, so you got to teach them young, I guess, to just, you know, yeah, I be like yeah. respectful and stuff. One of the things that I was know. really big on with CJ, um, and I don't know why I was just like, I just wanted him to. I wanted, you know, those those things that your mother instills in you, like mm -hmm. in your ear, and just keep repeating. I always told CJ. Open doors for girls. Don't hit girls. Mm -hmm. Don't hit girls. You know, right. like, don't, like, make, I want to make that clear to him to not do that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's one thing I want him to know is just to be gentle. Yeah, be gentle with women and respect them. And, like, mm -hmm. you know, because, and, you know, be nice to them. He, he's a very sweet boy, like, very nice. But just, you know, be gentle and be, be kind because, like, I just don't want him to you ever know, take on. Yeah. My son. He bad. <laughs> I don't yeah, think that's why I be like, baby. That's why I be like, he fall. I be like, yeah, you good, you good. Oh my god, you that's good. me. You not that, crying? Don't get you me good. wrong. Like I'm very, very like soft with my kids. Mm -hmm. I really am. But like when they do certain stuff and like maybe like for example, my youngest one, mm -hmm. he will bump his head so many times through the day <laughs> that yeah. it just don't hurt him no more. I mm -hmm. think. So when <laughs> he falls, I just look at him like. You get up. You okay, get they up. They be looking get for up. you. They be looking at you for oh to see what yeah. you. Yeah. Like. Look, I'm like, oh, come, come here. here. 
<laughs> then they'll start crying. <laughs> then they'll start crying. Yeah, yeah. No, I, my son will look at me literally. He'll bump something and he'll look at me to see how I'm going to react just to know how he should react. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if uh-huh. I be like, Maybe I shouldn't do oh, that so you much. Okay? Yeah, because he'd be like, oh. yeah. but if I be like, get up, you good, you got it. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, all right, I got it. But then yeah. it's Show another thing up. too. It's That's the, oh God, we're going to so many different conversations of like, just like, because you also want to let up. your boys know too that it's okay to like, you know, <laughs> have emotions or <laughs> cry or be like but just not too much yeah i, I guess it's like, i don't know because <laughs> got these women on this couch talking about uh, uh he can cry and all this that's why women don't need to raise men you know what i'm saying that's why women don't need to raise men like get your ass up boy you know what i'm saying that, that's what men supposed to do get your ass up boy you know what i'm saying Y'all know Corey is chiming in in five, okay? I think it has to just know. be a balance. I'll just yeah, say and yeah. Then sometimes, I sometimes feel like they abuse it, though. They abuse it just to get their way with you. Yeah, oh, yeah no, yeah. that's what it is. That's why I'm saying you yeah. are. You just can't. Yeah, no, I, no, I've learned how to say no and stuff more. Okay. Kids that's, are smart. that's what I was trying to say. Just have that other person in the household for me like that melts yeah it's like kind of instills but now i learned it myself you know cj always go to the store he want everything he's seen i was like cj you cannot have everything that you want but no. he asked it to you because you make him but work. i tell uh-huh. him now like you can no you can't have everything That's what you they want need you're to not do. gonna make play with it so i do yeah. think that yeah. yeah it's good for them anytime mom wants something you're doing something for me you're gonna work because the problem is when they get older they feel like everything just need to be handed to them that actually happened to me and yeah, nah, that's just, that's not how that work. So you got to make them children work for that money. I know that sounds crazy to some of y'all. Uh-uh, make them work for it. Whatever working is to you, if they got to uh, rake the leaves, if they got to wash the dishes, if they got to let them know that they have to work to receive income. It needs to be known. I'm telling y'all, do what you want. But I'm telling you, if you don't, they're going to feel like they ain't got to. When they get older, they're going to feel like you obligated to give it to them or you obligated to um, get that lifestyle or, or, you know, do whatever for them. And that ain't it. Now, you're going to work. So, yeah. My daughter be like, I want my nails done, so what can I do? I like it. You know what I'm saying? To have mm-hmm. that male figure because, mm-hmm. like, we shouldn't have, like, how you want to be, it's okay for you to be that because that's mom. But it's different for a single mother. You kind of got to be gotta both. You got to be mama and daddy. That's what I was going to say. I said maybe that's the challenge part for me, mm-hmm. that I had to be both. Like, I have my moments when I'm just so clingy with them, so mm-hmm. this. But I have my moments like, sit down. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Sit clingy down. is down. Sit <laughs> down. Show God yes, damn like, I do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have the moments because I feel like, you know, just being so soft mm-hmm. and this and with that, when you take them out in public, so they're expecting for yeah. them to treat them. And now they're embarrassing you and falling out yeah. in the middle. Uh-huh. And then I be uh-huh. and see her like, you don't, <laughs> you don't get up. I feel like every mama do that. Every mama got them tight lips that they do. It's that face. Up off the and they get know, so they, when they look at your ass, they like, oh, I'm in trouble. Let <laughs> right, me go right. sit down. No, they, yeah. they, they definitely, that, that's the challenging part for me. They yeah. have to be both yeah. sometimes. Well, but. yeah, I definitely, I think that you are just going to. When he had to be both of you, just let me see my kids. Yeah, let me see my kids. I'm a great father. Let me see my kids. You ain't got to be both. Here it is. The thrive in everything that you do, and I know you're going to be okay. And I just really want you to come here so I can encourage you in person. <laughs> and, like, also, like, I wasn't the only one doing encouraging. You were encouraging Dami, like, in so many different ways. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I just love to see the... I've always really kind of wanted to meet you in person mm-hmm. before. Really? So, I'm glad, like, I got to meet you. Yeah. And, like, really oh, that's sweet. feel you, like, feel I your vibe I met you, like, one time yeah, in person. Houston. It was when... Yeah, it was in Houston back when... Oh, my God. It was... That was, like, fresh when I, like, that had my... That was a long time ago. Yeah, that's when my <laughs> white Jeep was sitting out there. Yeah. Remember my white Jeep was parked out there, and then <laughs> old boy came and took it back. <laughs> he came and took my Jeep. <laughs> but I got me another Jeep, Period. and I got a Jeep wagon now. Bitch. Period. But, yeah. It was so young, yeah. baby. And I remember I, I, love it. I was like, wow, she's so short. Like, and he was... Yeah. She just called out Sebastian. Oh, fuck. She do it every time. (sighs) 
bitch. Okay. <laughs> Period. Yeah. So cute, but like, I'm just happy to see the growth, and it's just crazy to see like how the years went on and like how things really changed. And you just got to be prepared for change. But yeah. At the end of the day, Queen like, said, so "Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, took my jeep. When old boy took my jeep, maybe okay." Yes, because you never, you never know for. when life is going to hit you from. I love women you empowerment. You from the right, love, That's one of my never. favorite top things. Top side, <laughs> diagonal. <laughs> no, for you know? real. You just got to be prepared. You just yeah. got to be prepared. But other than that, like, I always remember that, like, your voice matter. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter how you use it, but your voice does matter. Talk your shit, Queen. Because you have so many queen. people that are watching. There, some of them relate to Queen. Some relate mm -hmm. to me. Some relate to you. Some relate so, to all of us. Yeah, it's like. You, you gotta you never know, use like, your voice and what find your it. Voice, yeah. Find your voice. <laughs> find you never that know voice. What that voice can actually do for mm -hmm. another for the person. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a fact. <sighs> well, I said, I feel like we that said a, a lot right here. So, you know. I love this. I enjoyed this. I love this. it too. I'm glad you did. But thank you for having me. No for problem. Sure. Thank you. And thank y'all, all of you guys, for watching. And make sure y'all go um, follow oh, and subscribe to Carmen's um, pay, uh, yeah, YouTube channel. Yes. Check out everything she got going on, her boot camp, because I'm going to be watching. Chris about to put out something about Clarence doing it to somebody on somebody's boat. And yes. your channel is it's all, all about, about Carmen. All, all about, about Carmen. Carmen. Yes, period. 2024. You know what? Just to end it on a great note, I feel like 2024 is going to be a great year. It's going to yes, be a great is. year. A great I can year. feel it. Overall. Just overall, yes. Overall. Like, it's gonna regardless be of the BS we got to deal with, it's going to be a great year for everyone. 2020, you heard her. 2024? We're coming for you. No We're problem, coming for right. you. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Well, it's a wrap. And it's a wrap. <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> that was a really good video. Child. Y'all know I hate sitting through them hour videos. 111 in the chat. Um, and 11-11 in the chat. Um, shout out to Queen. Shout out to Carmen. It seems like Dami V might be going through something. I hope she heard something in that conversation. I hope she's not going through anything, but... If she is, um, yeah. Um, I'm so happy for them because, child, listening to them go through the things that they used to go through, and even Carmen going through it now, these niggas are so disrespectful. But it is what it is. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.